there's no coffee beans today. So today I'm going to make a Keurig. 8 o'clock. My favorite. to So Lovely with Grace. I'm Grace, and today it's another Friday Sews. Mm. Coffee's good, but not as good as the bean coffee. This mug, So Lovely with Grace, was gifted to me by my dear sweet childhood friend Sally. She lives in Texas. She also had it printed on this side too. How thoughtful. Thank you, Sally. I am working on your bag and you will be getting it hopefully May. Thanks for your patience. Anyways, today I'm going to talk about what happened last week. Well, I had my quilt group and we met and they had a spring fling sale where they raised money for the group and for charity. And I got a few purchases there. One of the things I got was this fabric. It was Two, one yard for two dollars. In fact, almost all their fabric was like two dollars a yard. Fat quarters were a quarter or fifty cents. And I just thought this fabric was beautiful. This rose pattern. And I only had uh, one yard of it. And I want it because I'm going to talk about this top I made out of a quilting cotton. And I want to make this top again using this fabric, but that's not enough. So what I did was, I went online and I looked up this label. I looked up the label here of this company. I don't know, do you have it there? And I found someone that sold it on Etsy. And I got it right here. This little package came in the mail this week from KA Fabrics. KA Fabrics.com. So I'm really excited about this. Now at this quilt spring fling shopping, they sold a lot of other things. Books, CDs, embroidery designs, fabric, you name it, it was all there. But what caught my eye was this series, the CD series. I still have CD player, I have a couple actually. And I just thought for $5, basic pattern making. And this came out in 1992 for $5. And it's 125 minutes. I don't know if you can read that, but I just thought, wow. It says here, basic pattern making by the flat pattern method. I've never made my own patterns, but for five bucks, I'm getting it. The next one I got, pants fitting and drafting for five dollars. This one is 46 minutes. I haven't watched these yet, but it's a uh, Peggy Sager's uh, is the one is putting on these videos so hopefully it'll be interesting and useful but I thought you can't beat it for five bucks and I watch that kind of stuff in the evening anyways this one factory tips and techniques this one's 43 minutes it talks about pinning cutting clipping pockets collars lapels sleeves interfacing underlinings and more making for blazers and this one, Factory Tips and Techniques number two, at five dollars each. A cool purchase I made at this sale was this spool holder. See how it holds all the spools of thread? And at the top here, it holds bobbins. Now, I have the original color of the spool holder here, and Tommy painted this red for me because I wanted it to be red in my sewing room. I just thought it was great. It was only three dollars. It's supposed to go in a drawer, but I wanted to hang it on a wall. I really don't have drawer space, but I thought that was cool. Finally, the last thing I bought there was this case with embroidery thread for twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. The case alone is like that much. And all this embroidery thread, brand new, never used. It's rayon embroidery thread. It's the Sulky brand. Sulky. It has a color chart and everything here. Unused thread. Beautiful. 
for 20 bucks. And each one of these threads, I looked them up, $3.19 each. So that was a great bargain. So that's what I bought at the sale. I also did a little more shopping. I went to Hobby Lobby and Joann's. Let me show you what I got there. Earlier this week, Tom and I took a ride out to Hobby Lobby and Joann's in Ocala. And he went shopping for fabric too. And he picked out this. Now it's cut up because I used it to make him a shirt. This beautiful fish underwater aquarium fabric at Hobby Lobby. It was on sale at 40% off. And I made him a shirt with this pattern, 6197. And I'm gonna show you that. And then what else did I get at Hobby Lobby? I picked up this knit. I love their knits. Look at this beautiful, it's an olive color knit, rip. And I was thinking of making one of two patterns, either this one, I know it's for the fall, but this is future. This one is Simplicity 9679. I've seen many reviews online for it that it's very easy. I read the instructions too, it should go quick. Or I could do 9716 the long cardigan or the mid cardigan. I just thought that would look elegant with this knit fabric. And I got some more threads and uh, some lace I got at um, Hobby Lobby, which I don't have on my hands at the moment. And then we went to Joann's and I picked up, Tom is in love with his shirt and he wants me to make more. So he picked out this turtle fabric Look at that, beautiful colors. And uh, he wants me to make the shirt with him. You know, we live in Florida, so when we go on the boat, he can wear these tops. And it'll be protected from the sun, too, because he gets sunburned very easily. And the other fabric he picked out, he picked this out himself. I was shopping, looking at patterns and everything, and he was on his own. And he picked out this world map fabric. And he wants wooden buttons with this one. And I said, sure, definitely. And also, I picked out some fabric for his brother. He's a Florida Gators fan, and I'm in the process of making his shirt. So I'm very busy. So let me show you this pattern, 6197, new look. In the view A is the men's shirt. And I have pictures of Tom wearing the shirt. And here is the top here. I love it. It came out great. This men's shirt had a lot of nice details. It had this beautiful collar that was very easy to install. And in the back, we have a box pleat right there. Hopefully you can see that. And we have, the pattern calls for two pockets, but Tom only wanted one, so he could put his cell phone in here. He was really happy about that. And that also has these little side vents. So that's pretty nice. And he picked out his own buttons, his little blue buttons there. So this was his project. I just put it together. So I'll be making many more in the future. So let me show you my top. This is made from a quilting cotton also. And I made my own bias, single fold bias tape to finish the armholes. Let me show you here. Since I'm making view C, it's sleeveless, so the armholes need to be finished with, let's see what it says bottom here. It says a half inch wide single fold bias tape. I'm going to make it with a leftover fabric. So I cut the strips right here, and I'm going to make it with, manually with my iron and my bias tape maker right here. Let's see if I can get in here. Pull it through and press. I just love making bias tape. That's coming out on the camera. Yeah. So, should be coming out in a second. Keep pressing. And what I like to do, I had my pin here, is I just pin the end here so it stays taut. 
right there and just continue. So I made the half inch wide single fold bias tape. How beautiful is that? And it's from the same fabric so you can't go wrong. And I got all the pieces out. It only has five pieces to this pattern. Very simple. I have the back, which I labeled. And then, ooh, the collar. Two pieces for the collar. And two pieces for the front because it's going to button in the front with five buttonholes. So, and I have two of the front facing. And finally for the back, the yoke. The one piece for the back of the yoke. And that's it. So this is going to be a great shirt. I'm looking forward to making this now. I love making the bias tape. And this is what I have left. About 18 inches from when I made it. So, I'm going to model this top for you now. It's such a beautiful day today, I thought I'd go outside and model this top for you. It's a little breezy, but it's really nice. So, we have this beautiful collar and the five buttons. Also, there's this side curve here that goes around, which is very nice. And the armholes that I finished with the single fold bias tape that I made and also the back has this box pleat so it is a great pattern for this quilting cotton I paired it with these strappy sandals these little flat strappies I like the look it's comfortable it's very nice windy but nice today so this is a great top also the shoulder seams come down here they're meant to come down here not on your shoulders so that's another detail that I wanted to show you also I wanted to let everyone know I got this email yesterday from simplicity it says here look at this can you keep a secret and then it says simplicity a big announcement is coming Stay tuned for more information. Why would they say, can you keep a secret if I don't even know what the secret is? Has anybody heard about this? It's intriguing. Now, the Something Delightful webpage is having a sale on Butterick, McCall's, and Vogue patterns. Butterick and McCall's are $3.99, and then the Vogue are $5.99. At sale ends the 16th which is Sunday. Now I want to let you know that Joann's is having a sale on Butterick and Vogue. Butterick is $1.99 from today Friday through Sunday the 16th and Vogue is $5.99 today Friday through the 16th. That's all I have for sewing but in the next few minutes I have an update on my garden if you want to watch that and then I'll catch you at the end of that segment. Take a look at this cucumber plant. I just planted it on the 9th of uh, March, and look how big it is. And then this tomato plant, this is a beefsteak. What I'm going to do is trim these little baby leaves, and then I'm going to fill it to the top with dirt to strengthen the root ball before I put these in the ground. The cucumbers, I got a whole bunch of those, they're going in the ground today. These are all my cucumbers can't believe it they're already getting those little tentacles on them they're going outside today so Tommy's tilling the soil for me so I can plant my zucchini and cucumbers today my tomato plant starters are really growing here I added soil to each pot to the brim here so what that does is it strengthens the root ball system so when I go in and put them in the ground they'll be at its full potential for growth but I'm not putting those out today just cucumbers and zucchini this is the trellis that I got I'm gonna put my cucumbers and eventually watermelon here and cantaloupe it's ready to be planted today I'm gonna plant my cucumbers here Tom got the tiller and prepared it now he's gonna add the ground garden soil and 
uh, fertilizer manure. Today's planting day and I started all these zucchinis from seed. I can't believe how big they got. So I'm laying them out here in my raised bed and deciding where I'm going to put them and I'm going to plant them today. So Tom prepared my beds. This bed is going to be my zucchini bed. I'm doing this in the morning because it's cool and moist so it'll be easy to plant these but I have here five dark green zucchinis and then I have five black zucchinis in this garden bed and he used this raised bed potting mix so let me get digging and plant my zucchinis I have my 10 zucchini plants planted the five dark green and five black so they got to get acclimated got to water them a little and they'll be fine so Tommy put in this trellis prepared the soil here for me and I laid out my cucumbers look how big they are already and they're already ready to climb the trellis so on this row I have nine bush champion cucumber plants they're going to be tied up and planted here, climb the trellis. So I got to put those in the ground. On the other side of the trellis, I laid out my other cucumber plants. These are called National Pickling American Seed Plants, and I have six of those on this side of the trellis. I want to save this spot if I have any luck with cantaloupe or watermelons. So I'm going to put these in the ground now. I planted nine bush champion cucumber plants here and look they're already climbing the trellis. How exciting. Here I have American seed pickling cucumber plants. There's six of them and these are supposed to be used for pickles which is something I've never done yet and I'm really excited about it. I hope it happens. but. They're already starting to climb. Well, I hope you enjoyed that garden update. And I hope you enjoyed this Friday Sows and that you were so inspired.